Hi guys, I'm back today with a video on a brand that I have not gotten a chance to truly, really try out before. I've kind of dabbled in like a few of their singles, but not like gone in deep with a full palette and picked up a bunch of their singles, and I have done that now. And the brand that I'm talking about is Lethal Cosmetics, so they are both cruelty-free and vegan, and they are a German-based company, which is really cool. I really enjoy seeing their content on Instagram, and I cannot wait to show you some of the goodies that I got. Now, I got much more than this because, of course, if I'm going to get something, apparently I cannot just get one thing or a few things. I have to do a huge haul, which is ridiculous. But, in any case, so this is the palette that I, well, one of the palettes that I curated. Of course, because I love green, and because this is the month of St. Patrick's Day, I went ahead and curated a nice little green palette right here. And, of course, you guys know, if you've watched my channel at all, I am obsessed with green. Green is my favorite thing ever. I did add a little bit of blue down here at the bottom, and I've got some murkyish tones up top. But, personally, I feel like this is, like, my ideal kind of palette. And I am wearing that on my eyes today. Please excuse how thick my eyeliner is, because it just got away from me. Like, this eye was fine, and then all of a sudden this eye was like, whoa, 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 and then here we are. So, <laughs> let's just go ahead and ignore that, and let's talk about the shadows. So, they range from anywhere from about 6 to $7 a piece. They are really nice. They are different textures for sure, though. The mattes are definitely some of the nicest mattes that I've used. The metallics are kind of a drier formula, so if you are... If you have oily skin or oily lids, these will be really good for you, I think. The other thing to note is that if you do have trouble with the flaky texture, just use like a, you know, an eyeshadow base or a glitter glue or something like that. Now, I can't use glitter glue. I did use an eyeshadow base, and I feel like they adhered pretty darn well, even for being a flakier formula. They're not all quite that formula, but you'll see when I do the swatches that some of them definitely are. Something else I want to let you guys know is that they have some of the fastest shipping I've ever seen, especially like international shipping. That's insanity. You get free shipping after $150, and to be honest, it was here in like just a couple days, which was like the crazy fastest shipping I've ever gotten internationally. So for me, I was really into that. I'm glad that they have those shipping thresholds, and it's a nice change to see because there's a lot of companies out there that are international, and they don't have any kind of shipping thresholds. I've noticed that a lot recently, which is kind of frustrating. It's crazy to me to see brands that are within the United States that are charging $9 to ship one pound. Palette, which I think I'm sorry is kind of ridiculous but in any case I want to swatch these for you guys and then I want to do this eye look and then at the very end I'm going to come back and give you my final thoughts on everything so if you are interested in seeing that just keep watching okay the first shade is called frequency and that's just a really true white shade, shade vertigo This is a really beautiful kind of like light yellow kind of gold shade. The texture very much reminds me of something between something from Davina and Menagerie. Kind of waxy, kind of dry, beautiful payoff though. Probably best applied over a over an eyeshadow base called Runaway. And that's a beautiful kind of puke green. <laughs> Cinco. And that beautiful deep gray toned green shade called Cryptic. And that's a really cool kind of limish green with a little bit of gold flip to it. Replica. And that's almost a pastel green shade Habitat. Now this is a gray toad green, the shade Eden. And this is like a really nice teal shade. Lucid. And this is kind of a shiftier color. This goes from like an aqua to a turquoise to like kind of like a blue shade. It is stunning. Shade Inertia. Like a blue-green. It's beautiful. Sure. 
Now the texture of this is different than the others. This is definitely waxier and less flaky, but it is beautiful. It again is in that kind of like blue green, beautiful shade range, proxy. And this is like Tiffany blue. This is the whole custom palette I made. Okay, I am back, and here are my final thoughts on everything. Firstly, I loved swatching these, especially the mattes. The mattes are really, really good. I feel like they kind of reminded me of another, 
I feel like they kind of reminded me a little bit of Menagerie's mattes. And then the Metallics reminded me of two different brands. A little bit of Davina and then also a little bit of Dandelion Co. So if you're a fan of both of those formulas, you should be a fan of these as well, in my opinion. I do think that if you have more oily lids, these will be great for you. I also think that if you are worried about them falling, which I didn't really have a whole lot of fallout. I mean, I had a little bit, but I just take some tape and, and then just get rid of it. I think it adhered really nicely to my lid and all I ever do is use like an eye base. Um, what do I use? I use the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I've used it for like a hot minute. So to me, I think they performed really nicely and again, their shipping was some of the fastest I've ever had, especially internationally, so that's like insanity to me. And to be honest, it's one of the better experiences I've had with an international brand. If this was a brand you've been interested in checking out, you definitely should. My friend Caitlin kind of enabled me and was like, yeah, there's a sale! And so I went immediately over to the sale and I purchased a bunch of stuff and here we are. But in any case, I definitely think it was a good time and well worth it. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.